Yeah, so the folks that have been uh, been following Pillpack over the years will remember this story, but uh, I think I still might actually be running from the FBI. Uh, so back in 2020, uh, for context, there's this company called SureScripts, which is kind of the main broker of data in pharmacy, also controls all the e-prescribing pipes, uh, and may happen to be owned by all the incumbents. And uh, we did this terrible thing, which uh, we were trying to make it easier for for customers to access their own health data and make it easier for them to choose pharmacies that they wanted to use. We've had multiple public spats with, Expre- with SureScripts over the years, but in 2020, they decided that the right PR play was to do the boogeyman thing of we've called the FBI. Um, so as far as I know, I might still be running from the FBI. What was that kind of boogeyman FBI call for? Like, what were they saying you'd done? I think it was to try to paint us as like bad actors. I mean, that was kind of a, a theme throughout the journey of PillPack. And in reality, we were doing things that made it way easier for customers, uh, but I think it made incumbents uncomfortable. We'll get into a bunch of this, I think, later in the podcast. Um, but that was a constant theme of, we got to find some way to paint these guys that are trying to make this better uh, as uh, as the opposite. What else are you running from, TJ, personally? Yeah, I think maybe to more seriously answer your question. I, I had this conversation with someone a couple months ago that made the comment that kind of stuck with me that we're always probably looking for the opposite of of the environment that we had as a kid to some degree. And, I, you know, for me, uh, if you zoom way back, like my dad grew up with almost nothing and worked worked, worked incredibly hard to become a pharmacist, to to give us a childhood that was was way better than his. Um, but it was like a very kind of leave it to beaver childhood, right? Very, uh, very predictable, very stable, just very kind of classic. And I think I was always looking for a little more excitement, a little more risk uh, in my life. And so I think startups were a great way for me to harness that, um, but probably, probably led to me being very uncomfortable in uh, very formulaic, stable environments. 